guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a very fun video. As tonight is the launch of Strictly Come Dancing, I thought I would do a Strictly Come Dancing inspired makeup look. Um, I will continue to this throughout the entire series, so I will do an inspired look for all dances, including the, um, including the series, which I'm really excited about. Um, I will include a little bit of hair and an outfit as well. So I know a lot of people actually do, I know a lot of people when it gets to the final of Strictly actually have Strictly Come Dancing final parties. So I thought it would be quite a fun way to get some inspiration for that. Um, so I'm not going to be um, recreating or taking inspiration from any of the makeup from this series. A because I'm knowing it as time to just be makeup artists on Strictly, so there'd be no point in me trying to recreate that it wouldn't go as well. And also, um, I don't really want to copy it. I'm not gonna do my take on the makeup looks and the like in, how they're inspired by each of the dances. I thought if I were to be on the show, what kind of makeup look would I like to do for each dance? So that's one of the next strictly makeup inspired look is based on the chatter jar. I thought as it tends to be one of the first dances they do uh, when it gets to the actual um, series starting. Um, I thought it might be a good one. And also when I think of Strictly, I do think of stuff that's colourful and glittery. So I've been trying, I'm going to try and incorporate that into today's look. So I really, really hope you enjoy the series. I'm really looking forward to doing it and the rest of the dances and stuff like that. So if you'd like to see how I got the Cha 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 inspired makeup look, then please keep watching. Okay, so first of all, I'm taking my 100% Pure um, Fruit Pigment Winter Concealer. This is going to act as my primer today. I'm doing my eyes first because I'm working with a lot of colour, some glitter. There's bound to be fallout. Um, so if you're ever doing makeup like this, I'd always go eyes first, just safer. Then to set that in place, I'm using my RMS um, powder. And then I'm just going to quickly fill in my brows. I'm using my Freedom Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. I'm not doing anything crazy today, keeping it relatively natural, filling them how I usually would. As I'm going quite heavy with the rest of the makeup, I actually don't want the brows to be too heavy because I think it'd be kind of overload. Then for the first part of this makeup look, I'm taking my Neve Cosmetics. This is the colourful palette. I'm taking this purple shade. This is going through the crease and then I'm blending it upwards to kind of act as my transition shade as well. So I just keep on building up layers to get the pigmentation I want and then I actually do wing it out as well. So as you can see I just build it up to bring, give more pigmentation to the look as I want it to be quite a bold fun look today. Then I'm taking the MUA Tropical Oceana palette, taking this middle matte purple shade and I'm popping this through the crease just to define further and deepen up the crease section. I then wanted to warm up the eye ever so slightly so I'm taking this orange shade, again it's matte and I'm kind of blending out the um, purples a little bit and I'm bringing it quite far up to the brow as well because I do like it to be quite bold but it just helps blend everything out and kind of warm up the eye a little bit as well. Okay, for this next bit, I kind of switched it up in the end. So initially I took this kind of blue-green shade and packed this onto the outer corner, but I actually didn't like the combination of that colour with the purples. It wasn't quite what I had in mind. So as you'll see in a minute, I'll go back to my um, MUA Tropical Oceana palette, and I take the kind of deepest purple shade. It almost looks a little bit blue. Um, it's kind of that purple blue colour. And instead I use that and really pack it on to the outer section of the lid. And as you'll see, I just think that kind of bluey purple blends really nicely with the purples that's going on in the crease. And I just thought the uh, colour combination was much nicer. And then just to make sure those colours are nice and blended together, I'm going back in with that original purple shade at the beginning and like I said just blending the kind of blues and the purples together so it's like a seamless blend and it looks really nice and smooth. I 
I always find when you're working with colours, it's always important to do a lot of blending. Then for the really fun part, I'm taking the Glitter Eyes Unicorn Wings Glitter. It's a very beautiful purple um, glitter and I'm packing this on the inner corners of the lid. I thought this worked really nicely with the blues and purples I've got going on. And obviously it's a strictly look and I don't think it's complete without some glitter in some way. So I just thought this would look really beautiful on the eyes. Okay, then I'm quickly moving on to the face. I take in my Hansen Pure Luminous Primer to act as my base today. And then I wanted to go uh, with a full coverage foundation, so I'm taking the Hourglass Vanish, uh, Vanishing Foundation Stick, and I have mine in the shade Alabaster. Um, I don't usually do full coverage on my channel, but I kind of felt it was necessary for Strictly, go full out, full glam. Um, as you'll see, it does look quite odd to begin with because it is so full coverage, but when I add the bronzer, the contour, the blusher, my kind of features come back out again and it kind of looks more 3D-like. So I'm just blending that in using my iconic London Oval brushes. And then going back in with the concealer, I'm using the 100% Pure Concealer again. Put this under my eyes and on any blemishes. And I also take it down the centre of my face to give a slight highlighting effect as well. And then of course to set that in place so nothing moves I'm taking the RMS and powder again like I said just to set everything in place. And then I'm going to move back to the eyes and finish those off. So I'm going back with the Neve Cosmetics palette, taking that exact same purple shade again, and I'm running this along the lower lash line, taking a little bit at a time and building up. I find that's the best way with bold colours, and just in general, if you take a little bit at a time, and then you can really build it up that way, as opposed to going straight in with the bold colour, otherwise it can look a bit weird, and it's easier to add than it is to take away with makeup. And then I'm going back in with that kind of dark purple shade from the MUA palette, and just deepening up the very outer corner of the lower lash line and kind of joining up to the winged effect that I have on the upper uh, lash line. Then I'm taking my Neve Cosmetics eyeliner pencil in, I think this is rose, it's like a really nice metallic um, pearl colour, putting this into the waterline I'm also using it as a brow bone highlight as well. Then going with mascara, I'm taking my PHB Ethical Beauty Natural Mascara, giving my upper and lower lashes a couple of coats in preparation for some false light eyelashes. And the eyelashes I'm using today are from Ardell, and they're the kind of classic ones from Ardell, they're the Demi Wispies. They're really nice, they add a little bit of volume and length to the lashes without being over the top. I feel like some false eyelashes can be too much and they kind of disguise the eye makeup work that we've done. So these are really pretty, add a little bit of glamour to the eyes but it will not distract away from the kind of glitter and the colourfulness of the eyes. And now I'm just going with a bit of liner, this is the Makeup Revolution Pen Liner just to kind of define the upper lash line but also to slightly cover the lash band from the false eyelashes as well. And then that completes the eye portion. So moving back to the face, I'm going with my Barry M Chisel Cheeks Cream Contour Kit, taking the lightest of the contour shade. And I put this along the uh, cheekbones, kind of around the temple and forehead along the jawline to give a nice definition and a little bit down the nose as well. I have to say I did have trouble with this contour kit a little bit today. I think because I haven't used it in a very long time it had dried out a little bit. Um, so I had to work with it to try and warm it up and get it to blend out nicely but I think it did work well in the end.
And then I'm going to bronze up my skin. I'm using the collection matte bronzer. And like I said, I'm just warming up my skin, looking nice and bronzed, even though I'm not tanned at all, but this will help give a sun-kissed effect to the skin. Then for blush, I'm taking my 100% pure uh, fruit pigmented blush in the shade Healthy, and I'm popping this onto my cheeks. And then for highlighter, I'm taking an oldie but a goodie. I have not used this in ages, and I absolutely loved this last year. So this is the Sleek Solstice Highlighting Kit, taking the orange shade like I used to always do. I'm popping this on the high points of my face, so the tops of the cheekbones. I love putting it just above the brows, I put it down the bridge of my nose and also the cupid's bow and then I also took some on my finger and just popped it on the inner section of my eye just to add a little bit of a shimmer there as well. Then I'm just quickly going with some setting spray to make sure everything stays in place. Then I'm going with this very beautiful, vibrant, matte pink shade from Kiko. I think I've used this a couple of times on my channel, but I thought the pink looked really lovely with the kind of blues and the purples going on the eyes. Um, and have, as because it's a matte lipstick, it's going to last that just that bit longer as well, which is great. So that kind of completes the makeup portion of this. I really love how this has turned out. I just think it looks so cool and a great cha-cha-cha makeup look, I think. Then for the hair portion, for this look I've kept it very simple because I've got quite a lot going on on the face. So some of the ballroom dance ones that I'll do, I'll do a bit more intricate hair, but for this I wanted to keep quite easy, quite fun. So I'm literally just curling my hair with my straighteners, that's what I tend to do on a daily basis. And then once everything is cooled down, I go ahead and kind of ruffle things up so it's a bit more messy like. I just thought it was kind of the perf, really worked nicely with the makeup look, nothing over the top. That makes the hair complete as well as the makeup. And then for the outfit, I just wanted to go with something fun, something with sequins. So this is from Pretty Little Thing. If it's still not available, then if it's not available, then I'll leave alternatives down below. But they do lots of sequin dresses. I wanted something fun, glitzy for this cha-cha-cha look, and I think this worked really well. Um, so I really love the outcome of this look. Um, I really so I really hope you enjoyed my cha-cha-cha inspired makeup look. Um, and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks for watching.